Hey guys, I know my channel, I said I want it to be weather related. Today I'm going to work on my 2008 Toyota Tundra. And the weather related aspect of this is I need to change the radiator in it. I, I looked at some YouTube videos on how to do this and there's two schools of thought. One is to remove the fan and uh, then slide out the fan and, and, and shield all, at, all together. The other is just to move the shield back a little bit and lift the radiator out. I first was going with the first way, but then I decided, hey, I'm going to try the just to remove, you know, unloosen the shield and see if I can't just slide it out. Okay guys, I'm gonna loosen the cap, let the so the air will bleed out. Now let's get under there and drain it. There's the pet cock right there. Five gallon bucket. Should be able to hold four gallons if my math is correct. Since I'm under here, I thought I'd look and see if there's any leakage from the water pump, which I changed. I made a video of that. I changed the water pump, I don't know, 50,000, 40,000 miles ago or so. Doesn't look like it. And I changed the serpentine belt at that same time. Now, if I had to change the serpentine belt, it would have made more sense to take the fan off. But since I don't need to change, because you have to take the serpentine belt off to take the fan out. So, but since I don't need to change it, um, I'm going to try to take the radiator out without taking the fan and shroud out. Let's say we got only about two gallons out of there so probably must be all back in the block there the rest of the antifreeze we'll see how that works out now we need to take the fan shroud off or make it loose so we took off these two top bolts and the bottom of the shroud just set fits into a slot so the shroud is loose now we need to take four bolts out for the radiator. One here, one through there. We're gonna have to loosen this and move it because there's one right behind there and then there's another one on the bottom. Okay, I couldn't get to the bolt going through the bumper, so I had to get, go put the ratchet in between the bumper and the frame here. Okay, I think I got that bolt loose. Something I forgot to do, I've got to remove these tabs. One came off by itself. I think they're both off. Okay, I didn't get this side loose yet. I tried this universal and that seemed to work. Okay, I got the two bottom bolts loose, I think. Don't know how I'm gonna get them out. But let's see if the radiator comes up now.
Okay guys, I got the top one started. That side, I'm not tightening them yet. That side, I don't know if I was filming, but I had to loosen up this bracket because there was no way to get in there with that bracket in the way, but it should be easy to put back on. There's the bolt. Now the bottom side. Okay, got all the bolts in on the radiator. Now have to get these bolts in on the transmission cooler and then get the shroud on. To wrap this up, guys, this is the radiator I took out. Obviously, it was leaking, pretty much shot. And how long did it take me to do it? Three hours and 54 minutes.